Why is pride often considered the worst sin? Well, when we look at the New Testament, and actually the Old too, what God wants to do in the lives of people more than anything is give them something. He wants to give us grace, love, and mercy. The book of James says, uh, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. The problem is when we have a lot of pride and little humility, we don't want to receive anything. We do it on our own. Life is according to what we say and according to what we think. What God wants to do is to put us into a place where he can give to us. Now that can happen in a, a few ways. One of them is life for the pride. Uh, the, the Bible does say that God humbles the prideful and that can happen and we get to a place where life is not working. We become open to what God wants to give us. The other way is uh, facing his law, being serious about who he is and what he's demanding of us. The Ten Commandments can make us humble when we find out there's no way we can pull it off. God wants to give, pride can stop us from receiving. God wants to give us his grace above all things, knowing that we all have darkness, we all have sin, we've all missed the mark of life. That's when God comes with his grace in Christ to bring us forgiveness and new life, life that opens up everything else so that we can live the best possible life to the praise and glory of his holy name. Hey, if this video has been helpful for you, we make two of these for the curious a week and you'd like to receive them, press like, subscribe, follow. Um, if there are friends of yours who would be open, we understand not everybody's open to the message of God's love and Christianity and pride and what's wrong with it. But if they are, and probably some of them are, share it on your friends list. We would appreciate that. But in any case, we say salam alapi aretik, la paz de dias en tu viaje. Hey, God's peace be with you on your journey.